Uh, well, not too long ago. I was, you know, when I was having trouble writing and getting myself going. I just, I had to think of myself. It was a very similar uh, visual image. Where, you know, I was just, I just saw myself as a guy with a sword. And, just, you know, you walk across something and you're like, do you draw your sword here? And you go, and he put it back in. And he comes like, oh, is it? And you, you, like, you never draw your sword. You just keep it in the sheet the whole time. It's just No matter how good a sword it is, unless you draw it, it's useless. That's the really unsheathed sword. In yeah. life, that sword should always be ready. I mean, there's the art of drawing and slicing and cutting at the same time. Right. You know? But, you know, that's also the unsheathed sword. It's, it, it's ready. The idea of, of challenge and, the, and our competition or competing is just human ego, which is, you know, to me, you know, not really processing. It's just about being the best at what you do so you can obtain glory for what you're doing and reputation. You know, like people patting on our backs and wow, man, you're bad, or, or wow, you made a lot of money, or whatever it is, you're, you know, and that's where it gets into the ego. The idea is, you know, there is no absolute, there's only a challenge to become, to, to become more. So the idea of real martial art, I would think, is not about defeating the opponent, it's about becoming the opponent. And the opponent, who may even be better than you, doing the same thing. And that's how you learn. A big person has to understand a small person, and a small person has to understand a big person. The spirit of a small person and the spirit of a big person. Because the small person has certain abilities that the big person doesn't have. And the big person has certain abilities that the small person doesn't have. But if they amalgamate them and they learn from each other, then they both become very dangerous individuals. Because there's a big difference between material uh, competition and real life violence. Big difference when somebody says they're going to murder you than somebody that says, I'm just going to compete with you. And it's not involving acting or whatever stage that they're playing on. It's real. You could take an eight year old kid who goes nuts and put a knife in their hand and they become dangerous. That wants to murder you, has no control of their emotions and just coming at you with a long machete. Eight years old, swinging that machete, coming at you. And just lost it. Ah! And they want to murder you. There's a big difference when somebody wants to murder you. And that leads into your true life violence.